Clash of Clans, you've played it before or might even play it right now. There are only a few games where I keep coming back and those are Minecraft and Clash of Clans. While playing the game and looking at my base, I was wondering, how will Clash of Clans look like in Minecraft? Can I turn Clash of Clans 2D buildings into detailed 3D Minecraft builds? Well, let's find it out. I started the project by building a small Clash of Clans scenery inspired by the classic map from the start of the game. The map from Clash of Clans consists of many tiles. The town halls are all 4x4 tiles in size. To translate that into Minecraft, I made the tile 555 blocks in size. So we have a total space of 20 by 20 blocks to build the town halls. Now let's start with Town Hall 1. It's the first building you see by the start of the game. It's a cute little house with a nice and clean design. While it's the simplest of all town halls, it took me a lot of time to build it. I wanted to get the details and size right. The next town halls will all be based on this design. Town Hall 2 is very similar to Town Hall 1, but the building gets slightly taller and has a nice stone foundation. It also gets a new and improved roof with a few more details. The Clash of Clans builders are really fast. They only needed 10 seconds to upgrade to Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 2. It took me a lot longer to do that. Now it gets a bit more interesting. Town Hall 3 expands with another small room on top, so it gets an additional roof. The new walls have a small screen stripe that adds some more color to the build. While it's only a small change design-wise, gameplay-wise you unlock the laboratory, which is really nice. Town Hall 4 expands further into the sky, with another small room on top, this time with wooden walls. With the extended space, the building gets a lot more windows. They add a lot of detail to the build. I bet you get a nice overview of your base with all these windows. It's really nice to see how the town hall changes after each new upgrade. And by the way, why did they randomly relocate the chimney with this upgrade? Town Hall 5 is the most boring upgrade. It only changes the entrance and replaces it to walls with stone. But you also unlock the spell factory, which is cool I guess. Town Hall 6 gets a brand new overground foundation made out of gold. The problem here was choosing the right blocks. While we do have a gold block in Minecraft, it doesn't have any slabs and stair variants, which would be very important to build the details. So instead of gold blocks, I used jungle wood. Just imagine if it were gold. Town Hall 7 finally adds a big new change, a little tower on the left side of the house. It makes the building so much more fun to look at. The previous changes weren't really noticeable. This one makes the house feel like a whole new building. It's definitely my favorite Town Hall upgrade so far. Town Hall 8 gives us another brick upgrade. The golden foundation we built earlier gets replaced with stone which gives the building a nice and clean look. But more important, the two roofs and the little tower on the side get replaced with a large tower on top of the roof. The design of the tower is very similar to the smaller one, only really the size changes. And of course with the increased size, the building gets more and larger windows around the building. The town hall looks more and more like a castle now. With Town Hall 9, the roof gets a complete new color. With that, we get access to slabs and stairs, so we can build a roof much more smoother and detailed. But not only the roof gets an update, also the foundation and entrance, which get a darker stone color. Since I've made a roof with black stone, I made a foundation with deep slate. I think the blocks match really well. The colors are very close to the original design. All around the building there are now dark crystals, which give the building a unique look. While the shape of the building keeps being similar, some of the materials of the tower changes and get replaced with some darker deep slate blocks. I then replace the crystals we built earlier at the bottom with the new and improved design, so they look consistent all over the build. Another cool addition is a smaller tower on the left side of the large tower, with a cute little flag on top of it. Town Hall 10 replaces the black roof with a colorful red roof and the building gets slightly taller. The entrance gets a complete new design, with some golden elements in it, and the color of the wall changes to a new brownish look. My favorite part of Town Hall 10 are the two skulls with lava on both sides of the building. They look really cool and add a lot to the house, so that the lava doesn't flow all over the place, the floor around the build gets replaced with lava and magma blocks. The main tower gets slightly smaller and a new color of paint with dark and brown blocks. And the smaller tower on the side not only has a new color, it also gets a brother right next to him. I experimented a lot with different blocks to get the right details. Since both sides are similar, I mirrored the build and finished the back of the house. Now we are already building Town Hall 11. We start by replacing the previous foundation with a big, slightly rounded stone foundation. And the windows above get a new glowing design. The roof changes its color again and gets a more darker red design with golden stripes. The larger tower on top gets a complete new design. 
so do the entrance, which gets a golden door frame and additional details like giant chains hanging above the entrance. The front of the building gets two castle towers, and the left side gets a smaller tower, hanging on the side again. In the middle of the building there's a big hole, filled with lava. I don't know where it's there, but it looks really cool. I placed more and more details to match the original as close as possible. I replaced the stone blocks on top of the building with diorite blocks, since the original has a lighter color on top. Now all I needed to do and finish the build is mirroring the side walls and building the back of the house. Like with all town halls, we don't know how the back looks, so I just made a simple design for the back. With Tunnel 12 we are going away from the castle style into something more different. Everything gets a new design. The color palette of the build is really special. The blue roof, dark iron walls and gold elements all over the build. The large castle tower makes place for a second blue roof, which looks amazing on this build. I wish there were slabs and cell variants for concrete. True fold looks so much more detailed and cleaner. The great thing about Town Hall 12 is that you get a hidden Giga Tesla inside. This will further protect your base from enemies. I use deep side for the walls. I think it matches best the original design, which kinda looks like dark iron. The blue roof looks great with golden stripes, but like on the previous roofs, they are much slimmer in the original. From the side of the house, there are hanging giant signs. On the signs you can see the level of Town Hall 12, from 1 to 5. I built the level 5 version of the Town Hall, as you can see on the slightly larger roof and the cool blue glowing floor pattern around the building. I know Town Hall 13 very well, it's my current Town Hall in Clash of Clans. The design reminds me of an ice temple. The whole color palette changes with this build. I mainly used the two netherwoods. It was hard to get the right colors. There was just no purple stone color with stairs and slab variants. So I used a brighter purple netherwood. The roof has a very unique and interesting style. It's pointy like a small pyramid with many different colors and big chunks of ice blocks on all sides. The walls get a new design, some nice yellow glowing windows. And like the previous town halls, there's a plate where you can see the level of the town hall. The floor around the building gets replaced with a nice pattern and a lot of ice blocks. Then I mirrored the build, added some final details and finished the back. Now we are going to build Town Hall 14, my favorite Town Hall from Clash of Clans. I just love the jungle team, with its gold, green and dark purple design. Like with some of the previous designs, I had to make some compromises. Town Hall 14 has very detailed golden elements. I can't recreate them only with gold blocks. I needed slabs and stairs to make the details, so I used birch wood instead of gold in some cases. Mujang, if you are listening, please give us more stairs and slabs for gold blocks and terracotta. That would be really nice. Getting the right colors for this build was very hard. I tried out a lot of different blocks and then chose blue terracotta. I think with that the walls look a bit closer to the original. Then I mirrored the build and added some details into the water that I made out of glass to get a green water color. Finally, we built Town Hall 15, the newest town hall from Clash of Clans. It's a magical purple town hall with a very cool design. It has a very similar shape to Town Hall 14, but it looks a lot smoother and of course more magical. The blue terracotta blocks we used in the previous build matches the original color a lot, so I will keep the walls but change the details. I tried out a lot of things. As always I wanted to make it as close as possible to the original, which wasn't easy. The sides of the building get some new details and new purple windows that make the build look really magical. And of course, like every building since Town Hall 12, there's a plate that shows the level of the Town Hall. On top of the roof, we built a small half dome with various blocks and stairs that lead to it. Inside is the hidden Giga Tesla. As some final touches, I looked at every part of the building and tried to improve it so it looks more like the original. I replaced some blocks, added more details, remade the stairs at the entrance and improved the magical river around the building. And with that we've built all 15 town halls from Clash of Clans. Enjoy the cinematic!